Hello there. In this video, we'll do another demonstration of time series forecasting for a number of different methods, including naive, moving average, weighted moving average, exponential smoothing, and trend projection. This question is based on problem 4.6 in your text. We start out with the monthly sales for telco batteries for the months of January all the way through to December for an entire year. And our objectives are down below here. So we'll first plot the monthly sales data. And then we will look at different forecast models using the naive method, three month moving average, a six month weighted moving average with these weights, an exponential smoothing model with an alpha of 0.3 and an initial forecast of 18. Now, this requirement does show September as the initial forecast and that is to make it easier for you to calculate manually rather than start all the way from January and work through because as we saw in the previous video, the exponential smoothing model is quite a bit of work if we do it manually. However, because we're going to use Excel OM for this, we'll make this January. And then our final model is a trend projection. And then we're asked with the data given which method would allow us to forecast next March's sales. So let's now go ahead into Excel OM and create the various models. Okay, while our first requirement is to plot the monthly sales data, we need to get the data into Excel to begin with. So we might as well start by building our first model based on the first forecasting method in requirement B, which is the naive method. So we'll go to Excel OM, we'll go by chapter, and we'll select chapter four forecasting average and naive. And this is going to be problem 4.6 naive. We're provided with 12 periods of historical data, 12 months. And for the naive method, we only want to average one period. So we'll click OK. And what this will do is give us a blank worksheet. So let's populate our months and sales. So January has 20 months and then 21, 15. So in order to plot the data, we'll just grab the period and demand. And in Excel, we can just go to insert. You can use a recommended chart. We want a line graph essentially. And here you go. There's the plot of the monthly sales data. Again, using the naive method, this is based on one period. And since this is a naive forecast, the forecast for the next period, which is January, is simply the previous period, which is December. And that's what is being reflected right here. Now we want to create a model using a three month moving average. Well, we can either create a new model or we could just copy this sheet and paste a copy to the end. We can call it P 4.6 three month moving average. And all we have to do is increase the number of periods to average. And then that's exactly what it'll do. It'll automatically produce the forecast for January at 21.33 batteries. You could start the model from scratch and select the appropriate model from the Excel OM menu. But since this model is used for both naive and moving average, there's no need to do that. The next model we're asked to create is a six month weighted average using six various weights. So from here, we will go to Excel OM again by chapter forecasting. And this time we want a weighted moving average. We still want 12 periods of data. We'll call this P 4.6, six WMA, each period is a month. And we want to average six previous periods. Click OK, it generates a new model for us. Let's zoom right in. We'll go and just copy and paste the values from our previous model so we can save ourselves some work. And all we need to do now is apply the weights. Our weights for this one are 0.1 three times, 0.2 twice, and 0.3 with the heaviest weights applied to the most recent months. So working backwards, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. And to confirm that those add up to 1.0 or 100%. And there we have it, it produces our next forecast basically immediately for January to be 20.6 batteries. That was easy enough. Our next model, our next model is exponential smoothing. Our next model is exponential smoothing using an alpha of 0.3 and an initial forecast of 18. We'll go to Excel OM, select exponential smoothing, P 4.6 expo. Again, 12 periods of data by month. We don't need the tracking signal just yet. We'll worry about that in another video. We'll hit okay. We will go back, copy our data into our next sheet, blow it up a little bit and we want our alpha to be 0.3 and an initial forecast of 18. And this gives us a forecast for January of 20.31 batteries or 21 batteries. The next forecast is a trend projection. This is one we haven't done yet. So let's go ahead and start it out. Excel OM by chapter. This is a trend projection, 12 months of previous data. 
we'll run it, blow it up, copy our data through January through December. Now, a trend projection model is essentially a regression model, but instead of looking at causality, where we have a Y variable that sales and depends on something, let's say the temperature outside or some other factor, X is simply each period in sequence. So January is period one, February is period two, three, etc. Once the model is selected, the forecast for January is actually period 13 in sequence and will result in a forecast of 20.7 or 21 batteries roughly. From here we can also obtain the equation of the line that we've got here where the slope where the intercept is 15.57 and the slope is 0.39 so we could say that y equals 15.575 plus 0.398x. We can also plot this again. So we'll grab our period data and our demand and we will insert chart. This is the same chart that we had for the first model, but what we want to do now is insert a trend line. So if you right click on the line that's produced in the chart and you go add trend line and then select linear, what it'll do is it'll add a linear trend line. And if we display the equation on the chart, you'll see what it does is it essentially includes on the chart the same equation, although just presented with X first and then Y. So that's how we use Excel, again for the naive, three month moving, six month weighted moving average, exponential and trend projection forecast models. Okay, now that we're back and we saw all the different models and how to calculate the different forecasts, our last requirement here again is to determine which method we would use to forecast March's sales. Well, this one's kind of a loaded question because the only model that allows us to forecast March without having any information about January or February's actuals would be the trend projection model, where X would simply be period 15 in the model and would produce a Y or a forecast of 21 point five five batteries and there you have it using excel om for five different forecast methods